So to deflate it, I'm opening up the cylinder here. Basically, you're going to reverse the steps that I took before. First thing I'm going to do is just undo this little covering. Pull out the pin. Now I can undo the cylinder. Once I'm done with the cylinder, every pot comes with one of these safety pins in here. Basically, you take this pin, push it up here, and what we're doing is there's a one-way flat valve which opens up. So we actually had an incident uh, last year where a heli skiing guide was caught in an avalanche and uh, this whole cylinder, all of this broke off and the cylinder actually ended up in the bottom of the pack. He took out, you know, really heavy forces, but uh, the, the airbag stayed fully inflated because of this one-way flat valve which sits here. So we just take that, let it go again, and now we can deflate it. Okay, so here's our pack. I'm going to leave this pin in so that it can continue to deflate while I repack it. So, repacking the bag. Now there's an instructional DVD which comes with each pack. You'll find it in this pocket here along with product registration and warranty. So that needs to be filled out, faxed back to us. Um, the DVD, I think it works on computers more than dozen DVD players and basically has a whole bunch of stuff, information, as well as snowpulse.com. But I'll take you through it while we're here. So the first thing that needs to happen, this zipper needs to go to the other side of the backpack because what happens when it explodes, it actually, if I can show you here, blows out the zipper and it runs both ways. So the first thing we gotta do is pull back the zipper. So we've got that zipper back. The next thing I like to do is take this handle, there's a bit of Velcro here, we Velcro it back into place and we can put it back into place. This airbag is sewn in four seams. Um, as you can see, this actually is a strap which runs here and it runs down to your waist belt and back over the other side. So it's really built like a harness around the wear. So four seams. I call this the bottom here, put that down, you line the, the top seams up with the bottom seams, and we push the air out. Next thing I do is flip that up just like so, hold the inside in, and the outside, and make it nice and neat. Now if you do this improperly, It'll likely still work, but it's really difficult to get it into the shoulder strap. So this is definitely the best technique. Then we start zipping. Just like so. So I go up to about this point, and then I'm going to do the other side. So top seams, top of the bottom seams, push it out, fold it up. And we're gonna fold in one side and fold in the other side. So make it nice and neat again. Now on this side, because I don't have a zipper there, I so put this little strap in here. Just put it over and hook it on to there. Uh, these little straps here, we didn't discuss them before, but they come with every pack and what they are is for running a hydration system. And uh, there's, a, there's a little hole here which the hydration tube can come out of and then it can sit in here. All right. So now we've done that, I'm gonna force the rest of the air out of the backpack. All up here. Then the top, just a simple stuff. So, you stuff it in, flip that over. So the easiest way I find to do this, unless you've got an extra person around, is grab it between your legs, like that, 
the axe in the third person, and we just continue that zip around. We just continue zipping right over this yellow portion, the breakaway zipper, um, and then put the Velcro down. That just kind of holds it there. So this piece here, you just flip it over, and then you can grab it between your legs, make it nice and smooth, that makes it easy to zip. So, continuing. Now once we reach this point, just take that off. I tuck it right underneath the airbag so it doesn't get caught in case it deploys or anything. And we just continue to work the zipper all the way down. And that's it. So, refold it. I'm going to put this in. I just take it and grab it. Tuck it in there. And it's sealed away. Now the last thing I want to do, I'm going to put this pin back here. Take that out. On the end of this the end of our, this is our firing pin here, and what happens when it gets pulled is it gets pulled right out of the cylinder. So I'm just going to take that off. And that firing pin goes with the cylinder. So this airbag is now ready to have another cylinder attached and be readable. Alright, so here's the cylinder. This is the firing pin which got pulled out. I'm just going to show you how this works. Um, the only tool that you should ever need with this is a crescent wrench. I'm going to open that up. So, inside of here, there's this little, there's this piston with this little o-ring on the end. This o-ring should be changed every time the cylinder is blown and what that, basically so that it doesn't leak over time in the future. So uh, we sell o-ring kits, um, so that should be changed before it's filled. Um, that's the piston there. How this works, just a simple mechanical system really. Piston goes in there, stops airflow. Um, this sits in here. When you pull this pin out, this piston's allowed, or this lever's allowed to move sideways. The piston moves there and air fires out the top of the cylinder. So um, there's a video on YouTube about how to change this O ring, um, but that's really important that it's done. So I'm just going to put this back in. O ring goes face down, just slides into place like that. Um, it screws in. Make sure this lock nut, there's lock nut, there's no room there. Back it off. That's tight. And I use this little lock nut to really tighten it. And maybe just to make sure it's up and down there. I take this, push this piston back in. And I make sure I'm lining it up. You probably can't see there, but Line it up. Drop the piston in, or the pin in. Now, uh, obviously I'd replace the tape. If I'm changing the o-ring here, it comes in the o-ring kit just to stop any moisture coming in. Now it's ready to be filled. So this is a paintball quick net fitting. Um, yeah, so that's how we fill it, as long as that o-ring has been changed. And fill it to 3000 PSI with compressed air. Okay, so now we have uh, repacked our snow pulse. Um, the cylinder is empty, it can be filled. Now uh, we've changed that o-ring. Um, so uh, we're ready to go again. Um, it comes with a three year warranty, 100 days of use or 20 deployments. Um, after 20 deployments, what happens is that one way flat valve, which I talked about earlier, starts to curl up and needs to be replaced. So that's not a big job. Um, so uh, yeah, I already use the snow pulse every day. I'm out in the back country and I think it's a uh, a really great product and I encourage all of you to use it and uh, encourage your customers to use it if you're a shop so yeah thanks for your support